Which of the Lewis structures shown below for the azide ion, N3 negative, has a nitrogen atom with a formal charge of negative 2? A. Structure 1 only. B. Structure 2 only. C. Both structures. Or D. Neither structure. Formal charge is a fictitious charge assigned to an atom in a Lewis structure for a molecule or polyatomic ion. We can calculate it using this formula, F minus A. In this formula, F is the number of valence electrons in a free atom. That is, the number of valence electrons that the atom has if it were alone. We can determine this by looking up the element in the periodic table. For example, a nitrogen atom belongs to group 5A. Therefore, alone by itself, a nitrogen atom has five valence electrons. A is the apparent number of valence electrons owned by the atom in the structure. For purposes of calculating formal charge, we assume that an atom owns all of the electrons in its lone pairs, and half of the electrons that it is sharing with other atoms. In other words, if an atom has L lone pairs and B bonding pairs, then the number of valence electrons that it appears to own is 2L plus B. Let's illustrate this for the nitrogen atom on the left in structure 1. This atom has one lone pair. It owns both electrons in the lone pair, 2L equals 2. This atom also has three bonding pairs. That's six electrons, but it owns only half of those. The other half belongs to the nitrogen atom in the middle. Half of six is three, B equals three. Therefore, the total number of electrons that the nitrogen atom on the left appears to own is 5. 2 plus 3 equals 5. As mentioned earlier, a nitrogen atom that is all alone by itself has 5 valence electrons. We determine this by locating nitrogen in the periodic table. It belongs to group 5A. Therefore, F equals 5. The formal charge is then 5 minus 5, or 0. It appears that the nitrogen atom has neither gained nor lost valence electrons. Now let's determine the formal charge of the nitrogen atom in the middle. It has no pair, so L equals 0, and 2L also equals 0. It has four bonding pairs, a triple bond with the nitrogen on the left and a single bond with the nitrogen on the right. So in this case, the nitrogen atom appears to own a total of four valence electrons. Once again, we subtract this from the number of valence electrons in the free atom. 5 minus 4 equals plus 1. Therefore, the formal charge of the middle nitrogen is plus 1. We could say that this atom appears to have lost one valence electron. If it were a free atom, it would have 5, but here it appears to only have 4. Let's now look at the nitrogen atom on the right. It appears to own six valence electrons in the three lone pairs, and one electron in the bonding pair, for a total of seven. Once again, we subtract this from the number of valence electrons that a free isolated nitrogen would have, and we get a formal charge of negative two. The formal charge of the nitrogen atom on the right is negative two. What about structure two? The nitrogen atom on the left has two lone pairs and two bonding pairs. Its formal charge is negative one. The nitrogen atom in the middle has no lone pair and four bonding pairs. Its formal charge is plus one. And finally, the nitrogen atom on the right is just like the nitrogen atom on the left. It has two lone pairs and two bonding pairs. So its formal charge is also negative one. Now going back to the question. The structure that has a nitrogen atom with a formal charge of negative 2 is structure 1 only.